Hey, what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to boost your performance, get better FPS in Tower of Fantasy. Once again, this is a new game and I'm pretty late for this video, but in this video, I ensure that you will get the maximum performance out of your PC. So make sure to guys watch this video till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below so I can help you guys in a better way. And with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, so beginning off with the very first step that is creating a restore point and this is really simple. Press your windows key and then search for create a restore point. In here, you have to look for your local disk C or any local disk which says system, click on create, name it TOF or anything that you can remember well and simply click on create. We do this step to ensure the safety of our windows. If anything goes wrong, you can always restore it back to this point. And once again, I highly recommend you guys do not skip this part. Once the restore point has been created, you can simply close it and let's move to the second step. That is, search for game mode in here and then go to game mode settings then make sure that game mode is enabled next step is go to graphic settings make sure that hardware accelerator gp scheduling is turned on once you are done with that open up your tof launcher and then go to game settings then go to manage and then open the installation directory once it opens up simply copy the file location over here click on minimize go to browse and then paste the file location in here press enter and then once you are here go to launcher scroll down until you find the tof launcher.exe click on add and then scroll down go to options and then click on high performance once you're done with that simply click on save and then close your settings next step is search for control panel and in here look up for power options once again this is a very crucial step once you are here, simply click on high performance or ultimate performance if you have any of them. Make sure to check hide additional plans for best performance plans. Once you're done with these steps, download the Tower of Fantasy FPS Boost Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. In here, you'll find in four folders. The first one is for Windows Registry Tweaks. Open it up and in here, you'll find three files. First one is CPU Performance Boost. You can simply right click and then edit. Look all the things that it's going to change in your PC. Once again, it's going to change many things but all of them are safe so you can feel free to do it simply right click and click on merge or double click on it to run it do the same for all of these three things the second one is for game windows fix and the third one is high performance power fix once you're done with all of these simply go back into the second folder which is the tof high priority registry all you have to do is simply click on edit and look at the thing that it's going to change once again, if you feel comfortable, you can simply right click and hit merge. Now, once again, this is very safe and it's really important because it's going to increase your priority whenever you play the game. So, yep, once again, I highly recommend you guys to do this thing. Next one is RAM optimization. And in here, I have left a lot of presets. If you want to look up for your preset, simply search for system information and then look for the total physical memory or install physical memory in your PC. It's 16 GB for me, so I will run the 16 GB RAM. It can be different for you, so you can choose any of these presets. I have left a lot of presets in here. Once you're done with that, last one is programs. And in here, once again, you'll find two files. First one is clean cache of bat. Once again, it's gonna clean all the cache in your PC. As you guys can see, it's gonna delete temporary files, histories, cookies, recent, and prints. So simply feel free to double click and run this thing. It's gonna delete all of the unwanted temporary files in your PC. Once it's done, simply open up the second program, which is the MSI Mode Utility 3. Right click and run this as administrator. Okay, now once you are in here, you have to look up for your graphics card. For me, it's right over here. Usually it's the third last option. Uh, and just go from undefined to high. Once you're done with that, simply click on apply and close the MSI Mode and just with that we are done with the fps boost pack now let's move ahead open up the game and perform some in-game settings that's going to give you the maximum performance simply click on launch and wait for the game to open okay so once you are in game look around for yourself and see if the game is smooth 
if not simply go to escape and then go to settings now in here once you are in the settings section simply go to display okay once you're in display here comes the style settings and it's once again a very personal preference it doesn't impact the game that much so you can go with anything you want coming down to the screen settings and here is where the things get interested first of all screen settings I highly recommend you guys to go with extreme but if you have a very low end PC I highly recommend you guys to go with smooth then for same screen wanderer just leave it to 15 and then click on advanced settings for textures I highly recommend you guys to go with low if you have a low end PC and if you have a PC with graphics card and a better PC you can go to medium once again leave your specs in the comments below I'm gonna be replying to each one of you with the best settings separately so yep either go with low or medium whichever works best for you material quality should always be low doesn't really matter a lot for vegetation detail i highly recommend you guys to leave it to low because it's gonna impact your graphics card a lot view distance leave it to high that's really good post productions once again go with low full screen display should be turned on so you're gonna be looking at full screen not any resolution because it's gonna prioritize the game for anti-aliasing i highly recommend you guys to go with none but if you have a better pc you can go with 2x or 4x for fps go with the highest that is 120 and shading should be turned on once again this is a personal preference turn it on and look if the game looks better turn it off and see if the game looks better for you now go back and have a look at your character so just over here i can see my game is working perfectly fine at 120 fps all right guys so that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button thanks a lot for 59,000 subscribers and we are running really close to 60k i need your support simply hit that red subscribe button down below if this video helps you out i'm gonna be bringing more of these guys for all of you in the future we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out